you see? <laughs> right. But in all seriousness, young people, it's time for you to listen up. Hello, nerds, geeks, and cool people alike. My name is Zane Bell, and I guess we could say today's youth have it really, really easy. iPhones, iPads, internet, and they seem to think that they can get away with anything they want to. But young people, as in those who are under 20, it is time to wake up. I mean, it's getting to the point now where I think my uncle is right in the fact that we now live in a dead society, but you know what? Let's prove him wrong. First things first, thug life. You really think that thug life is real? It is real. You wanna know what it's called? It's called prison. Do you really think that people like Wiz Khalifa, Jay-Z, Kanye West live the way that they portray themselves in their music videos? There's other rappers out there as well, just to point out. But the thing is, is that they don't act like that in real life. Let's face it, these rappers, these guys make a lot of money. If they were acting the way that they are in their music videos, let's face it, they would be in jail <laughs> and they would really be living the thug life. So for those of you going around, walking around saying, oh, I'm Batman, in it. Here's the truth. You will not be saying that when you're in prison now, wouldn't you? The only thing I have to say is watch adulthood and you get to see that. And I know that adulthood's a movie and these things are kind of put on for entertainment, but at the same time, these things really do happen. So just go and watch that and that'll explain everything. But it's my environment though, no, innit? I hate it when people use the excuse, it's my environment. It's a little thing as well. You say, oh, I live in a crap hole. Why the hell are you making that crap hole worse? I've quite literally seen people dump things on the street, chuck things at buses, or leave litter all over the place. And then you're wondering why everything looks like crap. Why you are living in a crap hole. Here's a little tip. Why don't you make your environment better by actually putting things in the trash once in a while? Why don't you try and make your environment better about you're trying to blame your environment for what it is? When in actual fact, you're the one who's actually making it worse. Don't be the person saying that I grew up in this environment and this environment's a crap hole, da 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 And you're one of the people who's going around making it worse. And then you have some people who are gonna go around saying, I don't have a good father figure in it. And, and there's no example for me to follow. Oh wait, here's a little thought for you guys. Why don't you be an example? <laughs> Some people will go around blaming the world and saying, I don't have a father figure. I don't have any good examples in my life. Why don't you try actually being an example? Why don't you be the one that lets people off the train or bus first, depending on what type of bus it is? Why don't you be the person who gives up their seat for somebody who is actually in need of that seat? Why don't you hold doors for people? Why don't you just have a little bit of common courtesy? Politeness, why aren't you polite to people? It's so simple. Being polite to people is just being nice to people. Just smile and say hello every once in a while. This is a big one and it eludes me why people don't have any of this manners. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Please, thank you, no thank you. Have a nice day, have a nice evening. Just basic manners, come on. Why don't we have a little bit of basic manners? Speaking and writing well, here's the thing. I grew up in South London. I grew up in the ghetto in South London. Here's the thing, I can speak well and I can write well. And some people will say to me, well, you grew up with posh family, innit? No, I didn't. <laughs> Listen, when I was a kid, my parents gave me elocution lessons. In other words, I wasn't allowed to come home and speak street. My dad would just look at me weird if I was coming to him and trying to speak street to him, honestly. Hey, right, bruv, you need to get me a phone, innit? That is pretty much the extent of what I'll get back if I was to do that to my dad. Love you, daddy. And here's my final point that I really do want to draw home, okay? Here's a little thought. A lot of you have this saying, if you want respect, you have to earn respect. Well, here's the thing. You want to know the quickest way to earn respect? To give respect first. That's right, people. You have to give respect in order to get respect. And trust me when I say this, when you give people your respect, they will be sure to give you respect back. Trust me on this one. And hey, if you give respect to someone and if they don't want to give you any respect back, then that is their problem. That just goes to show what kind of human being they are. Do not let them affect you. So if you follow this video, then you're gonna go through life and trust me, everything's gonna be fantastic and awesome. People would want to hire you because you're well-spoken, you're well-manageable, you're respectful, 
just to point that out, you're polite, you have common courtesy. Here's the thing, I know this term gets thrown around way too much, but you guys are the future of tomorrow. You guys are the future politicians, you guys are the future CEOs, you guys are the future music producers. I know this is going to sound harsh, but the world is doomed if things like common courtesy, politeness and manners die. And like I said, if you don't have any examples in your life, just be an example. If you don't know how to be an example, learn to be an example. As I said at the top of this video, let's prove my uncle wrong, please. And let's make the world a better place for us as the future leaders. And like my teacher said, together we can make the world a better place. Anyway, I'm going to end the video there. So first things first, I am back every Monday as you've been able to tell because I've been back for the past three weeks. So yeah, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share and comment. And I shall see you guys in the next one. As always, till then, take care and God bless. Guess what I bumped into? Ooh, can't see TV. <laughs> so I had to switch back to 720p because I realized how much battery I was taking up and I've only got one <laughs> left. So um, at least I don't have to stare at my um, nose balls anymore. So um, 